What's going on guys? Royal Legends TV here, back with a video for you. It's not going to be great quality video. It's going to be shot on my cell phone. We're still having issues with Dell computer. But it's a video that I want to make because there's there's been a change. Um, we may be at the end of the ammo shortage. Not the ammo price hype though. Let me explain. So, over the past couple days, um, I've been seeing more and more ammo in stores. Um, this has been corroborated by different people that I know in the industry having more ammo being shipped in. Uh, one of the keys to this is that Remington has finally started making ammo since they were acquired by Vista Outdoors. Now you gotta think, oh, well, that's not a too big a deal. Well, it's, it's a big deal because these are production lines that hadn't been going, or at least ammo that hadn't been sent out in the past. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got some of the first batch of nine millimeter range ammo to come in. It's, I'll show you, it's a 250 round mega pack. Um, I also got 45, some federal nine millimeter, some Hornady, and this is this is the key that I think that, that shows that the ammo shortage is coming down. I've been finding rifle ammo, hunting ammo, primarily Hornady ELDX, the extremely low drag, uh, uh, or, or yeah, extremely low drag, whatever, whatever it stands for. Um, I found some, and actually found a lot of it primarily in 25 alt 6 around that I haven't found ammo for in a long time. So I'm finding Hornady Precision Hunter 25 alt 6 110 grain ELDXs, which is a big, big deal because that's a round that I had never found before. Well, I was say I had never found before. It's a round that I haven't found uh, within the last, I would say, year. I haven't been able to find it. Since this ammo shortage started, I haven't been able to find the ELDX 25 alt 6 and I finally started finding some. Additionally, uh, one of the places that I get ammo from is selling 5.56 at 1,000 round bulk packs for 800 bucks. Now given that's still pretty high, but uh, it is cheaper than some places, especially online uh, for the 5.56. Um, uh, um, so if I can get this thing uh, I'll show you what I'm working with. Forgive the mess. This is what I've been working on. I still got scraps and trash thrown over from cleaning the guns from the uh, from the FRT15 rare breed triggers video and the um, competition build that is coming. It's coming, guys. I promise you it is. But I just wanted to break this down and kind of talk about what's going on. So, um, let's see if we can get this i might just flip you around here so here's what here's what we're working with we've got uh we've got the old 556 five, here the federal 556 five, here's the eldx's um i've got uh about 140 rounds i think uh what is that uh yeah 140 rounds of it uh you can see the price i paid 30 bucks for it uh which is pretty decent because some of the other rounds were closer to 50 50 dollars a round uh, fifty dollars a box, and these are really sought after. The ELDXs are really sought after rounds. Uh, two boxes of Federal nine millimeter, two boxes of Blazer, and here is the uh, the Remington range pack that I was talking about. Two hundred and fifty rounds. Uh, first batch that has come out since they were acquired by Vista Outdoors. So. This has all been acquired within, well, within the past couple days, uh, literally just rolling up to store. These I've gotten over about a week, just rolling up in there. They've had a bunch of them. I've had plenty of times to get these ELDXs. Uh, they probably still have more. I haven't gone back in a couple days. But that's what I'm talking about, guys. Sorry, got my finger in there. Uh, this is gonna be shot on one run. This is it. I don't know if y'all, if y'all saw what, you know, what I was pointing at, if it was blurry or whatever, this is all just shot one run, so I apologize for the quality. But talking about me finding ammo, um, I believe this points to, and CRS Firearms made a video, um, made a video a while back. 
uh, maybe about a week ago, talking about the ammo shortage and how he believed that the uh, ammo shortage was coming to an end or maybe just the prices were going to go down. He's talking about gun brokers, seeing the number of bids, the prices, supply and demand, basic economics, that kind of thing. He's pointing to here in the future, prices going to below a 2019 level. Now, this may be so, this may not be so, I don't know. Um, you know, looking at the shortages in the past, kind of, kind of the way it went. So he's got some good knowledge and experience to throw around, you know, in everybody's opinion, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. I think he's on to something, whether he's down to 100% accurate on it, I don't know. But I think he's on to something. And me finding this ammo uh, pretty easily uh, may be pointing to something very similar. Talking with the people I know, they got in uh, four pallets of ammunition. Uh, they've gotten in 5.56, five, they got in 9mm, 45, um, 10 millimeter, which is around that's hit or miss to find, 380, which for the folks that at this store, uh, 380 they hadn't had in months and they had people every day asking for 380 so for them to get a couple thousand rounds of 380 in was just killer it shows that rounds are uh, ammo's coming in so um nine millimeter i really think that with remington back in production and the the the, the remington ammo going out is huge i think this is a huge curve that 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 we've needed to get around uh, to get this ammo shortage under control. Um, I know looking at Gunbroker, things are slow on Gunbroker. I've actually got some ammo that's on Gunbroker and it's not selling. Um, it sucks. I bought it because I thought I was going to build a 300 blackout. Um, and I'm not going to build a 300 blackout now. So I've got 100 rounds of 300 blackout that I need to sell. And I don't want to take a loss on it because it's it's the Hornet D Black V Max ammo. It's pretty good ammo. Y'all want to if you, if y'all want to know about that, let me know. I'll link you to the gun broker. If it doesn't sell, I might just sell it to one of y'all outright. It doesn't matter. You know, we'll figure it out. Y'all get up with me if y'all want some 300 Blackout Hornet D Black V Max. We can go from there. But I think we're coming to the end of the ammo shortage. Ammo is becoming more and more uh, readily available. There's less on gun broker. There's less bids coming into gun broker. The price is still the same, but there's less bids. I think a lot of people have found a lot of ammo. They're sitting on a stockpile and they're starting to think that they're wasting money. They've maybe spent a lot of money, maybe run up, sorry, maybe run up a credit card or two, whatever. And now they've got a crap ton of ammo that they can't do anything with other than shoot. And they're convinced that the ammo is becoming more and more readily available. They're not buying as much. I think demand is going to go down. Supply is going to go up here in the next 5, 10, 12 months. And we're going to see a shift in this ammo shortage. I think we're starting to see the end of it, guys. Um, I hope we're starting to see the end of it. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Are y'all finding more ammo? Are y'all seeing more ammo? Uh, I'm also seeing more powder and more primers coming out so that's another indication to me uh but you know who knows uh we've got uh there's a lot politically going on and there's some indications that uh politically gun control may not have the uh may not have the backing that was once thought so maybe we panicked Maybe we overreacted. My thing is I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I've got my ammo. I hope y'all are still finding ammo. Let me know in the comments below. Are y'all finding ammo? Are y'all finding primers? Are y'all finding powder? Uh, let me know if you want the 300 blackout that I've got. Uh, let me know where the ammo is being found. What are y'all seeing? Are y'all seeing price increases still? Are your prices going down? What are y'all seeing? Let me know. As always, like comment, subscribe. I appreciate everything, everybody who's uh, subscribed to the channel. Those folks who have bailed out and unsubscribed, screw y'all, y'all are missing out. But um, anyway, guys, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. 
Uh, I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Odorant Doom Metawant. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all be good.